For safety reasons, you must build a strong base for a water tag. Let's talk about how we build this base wall for a period of 5 days in just 10 easy steps. And by the end of this video, you will be able to do this by yourself. The first step is to measure the diameter of the tank for which we intend to build its base. And for this case, we used this tank that is 2.4 meters diameter. Step 2 is to set out the foundation for the base wall. The concept here is that we add extra 300 millimeters on top of the tank diameter. And since our tank is 2.4 meters diameter, we add extra 300 millimeters to make it 2.7. Therefore, our base wall will be of 2.7 meters diameter. Set out also for the cross walls to provide support to the circular wall. If you are setting out this tank base for a home, you may set it out anywhere at your favorite position, but when you are setting it out for communities, the tip here is that you have to set out the tank base 4 meters away from the main water distribution line and 3 meters away from the tap stand. So this is our main water transmission line. We had set the tank wall at 4 meters away from this transmission line. We also had set out this tank base at 3 meters away from the tap stand. The third step is to do excavation. Excavate up to at least 300 millimeters below the ground. I made two examples at this stage for demonstration. You let me know which one is better for you in the comment section. You may excavate like this while only excavating the part where the walls will be or scoop out the whole soil in the internal area. Personally, I think this second method is better because it gives a larger working space though it takes more maram when backfilling. Let me know which one is a better option for you in the comment section. The fourth step is to cast a 50mm thick concrete of grade 15 for blinding. Use mix ratio 1, 3 to 6 that is 1 part of cement, 3 parts of sand and 6 parts of aggregates. We used exactly 2 bags of cement, 6 flat wheelbarrows of sand and 12 flat wheelbarrows of aggregates to cast concrete blinded in this foundation. The fifth step is to build the walls and as I've said before, the diameter of the walls will be 2.7 meters and the height will be 0.8 meters. We considered a header bond of wall thickness 230 millimeters, mortar mix for brick walling as 1 to 4, that is 1 part of cement and 4 parts of sand. We used exactly 3 bags of cement to do brick walling here. I counted these bricks physically and we used 68 bricks for each course. Therefore, for 8 courses that we built, we used a total of 544 bricks in the finished wall. So when ordering, it's up to you to add extras. The sixth step is to render the exterior part of the base wall and do backfilling. The render mix is 1 to 4, that is 1 part of cement and 4 parts of sand. Backfill with maram and compact properly. We used one bag of cement to render the exterior part. We used also exactly 1.1 cubic meters of maram. We used this truck to deliver material. The volume of this truck is 2.2 cubic meters, so we ordered half of it, meaning we used exactly 1.1 cubic meters of maram. The seventh step is to lay hard core and do sand blinding. The quantity of hard core that we used here was less. We just used half a cubic meter, which means we ordered a quarter truck. The tip here is that the hard core should not exceed 200 mm thick. Here is what I mean. Considering the upper part of the wall to be stopping here, hard core will be from this level 200 mm to below. The rest down will be filled with compacted maram. The eighth step is to lay DPC and BRC covering the entire area of the base wall on top of hard core and also do some shattering or formwork for top concrete. You may use plywood here or a flat metal sheet like this one to do form work or anything that can be folded in circular form. The ninth step is to cast a 75mm thick concrete of grade 20. Use mix ratio 1, 2 to 4, that is 1 part of cement, 2 parts of sand and 4 parts of aggregates. We use exactly 3 bags of cement to cast this concrete. After fully drying, Render even the top part and apply rough cast to the exterior part of the wall. The tenth step which is the last step is to place your tank. In summary, for the whole work, you will need these 7 requirements. 1. 2.2 cubic meters of sand, that is this full track. 544 bricks. 1.1 cubic meters of maram, that is half track. 9 bags of cement. 1.1 cubic meters of aggregates, that is half track, 
0.5 cubic meters of hardcore that is quarter track and lastly BPM and BRC. Depending on the price of materials in your country, you may know exactly the price of the best wool using the list of the materials above. That's the end of our today's video, I hope you get something from it. If you are really more interested in tank stands, be sure to watch this video on the left about how to install a steel stand tank tower. All this video on the right about how to build concrete stands for GRP tanks. Endeavor to watch these two videos. Thank you so much for watching.